What's up, YouTube? So, I want to talk about the Mammy Pick Me Mule Baby Mama Ride or Die Chick agenda in the black community. In my hypothesis, you didn't think I knew that word, did you? <laughs> but my hypothesis is that a black, if a black woman is not a mammy, a pick me, a mule, a baby mama, or a ride or die chick, then the black community will have a problem with her. And let's start with some definitions here. Right? All right, so a mammy is like a coddler, uh, pretty much a black male coddler. She coddles black men. All right. Um, a pick me is a black woman who is pretty much begging black women to pick her. Right? And you can see these women on YouTube, you know, throughout YouTube, these black women, um, you know, asking and crying on camera, like, why black men don't like them, you know, and asking what did they do, what can we do, you know, she loves her black cane, you know, she down for her black cane. You know, looking, you know, sad, pathetic, you know, tragical, and struggleish. you know. No shame, either. Um, next is mule. All right, so mules in this sense, in this scenario, would be women who do grunt work uh, when it comes to, like, you know, um, black social justice causes and probably just in general when it comes to like black community stuff um, like um, tearing down statues um, marching in the streets um, climbing up statues uh, you know very much doing work um, like grunt work that really I'm not sure if women are really like expected to do like women in other communities are expected to do um, but you know for meals this is how they get their validation because they don't get validated based on their beauty they get validated based on their work and what they do and that you know I've spoken on that before actually I have a whole video about the gender role confusion that goes on in the black community when it comes to that. All right. Next is a baby mama. I think we all know what a baby mama is, um, but I'll define it anyway. A baby mama is a woman who has a child with a man and they're not married. And she's probably never going to get married to the dude, right? Um, <clears throat> so that's you know, pretty much a baby mama, all right? An unwed mother. All right. Uh, ride, or die, uh, ride or die chick. This is the chick that is down. All right. She is down for her man and she is going to do whatever it takes to hold him down. Right. And that's pretty much like a simple definition. All right. So. You know, a lot of times women engage in this type of behavior, you know, not all of these, but a lot of these behaviors, um, because they want validation from black men. You know, they want some type of validation, acceptance, acknowledgement from black men. Um, normally, women are valued and you know, validated based on their beauty not their accomplishments or what they do usually when it comes to other communities yeah that's a part of it of course you know it's not like that's completely ignored but when it comes to women in other communities oftentimes they're like uplifted based on their beauty right and their accomplishments are they're a part of it but they don't necessarily have to um be the most accomplished or do some type of like you know act of social activism to get some validation 
But when it comes to the black community, we all know the black community is ass backwards when it comes to this type of stuff. All right. You know, in the black community, men, particularly brown skin, dark skin, black men, like their validation is based on beauty. <laughs> Think about it. Right. Who is the one in the community really being uplifted based purely on beauty? Not usually when it comes to men in other communities, it's oftentimes based on what they do as men. Right. Now, when it comes to the light skin mixed biracial dudes, then that's when folks want to put that into action. <laughs> that's when you get you got to have actually have to do something to get uplifted as a light skin mixed biracial dude in the community. That's why you may have like the quote unquote fight the power uh, light skin, biracial mix, waffle color Negro in the mix, right? That may be partially why. Um, but when it comes to the brown skin, dark skin, black men, that's why I often refer to them as the quote unquote true chocolate beauties of the black community because we sure know that unfortunately it ain't the brown skin and dark skin women being the chocolate beauties of the black community. Like the brown skin, dark skin brothers refuse to let the brown skin, dark skin females have that lane. They are holding on to that lane. I don't know why. <clears throat> and some brown skin, dark skin females play right into it and just keep on supporting it. So, hey, um, if you like it, I love it. Um, but next, I want to talk about some examples in the media and you know some females in the media who kind of have gotten flack um, because they decided to opt out of the agenda all right um, for instance Serena Williams you know she opted out of being a mammy a pick me a mule a baby mama a ride or die chick uh, for black men right she did have a brief period where she was like low-key a baby mama but she wanted to get married to uh, the dude that she's with now and he's white so she yeah she's a swirler you know so <clears throat> that's like um, public enemy number one <laughs> to this agenda <laughs> right so notice like Serena Williams does get a lot of flack right notice that it's like she is oftentimes the target and usually I feel like Serena Williams is like pretty low-key about uh, her life she does she she's not really seen out in the media all too much other than when she's playing tennis but a lot of black men in particular and some black women because black women support this type of foolishness too um, again wanting that validation right wanting to be fair and balanced right um, <clears throat> but when it comes to Serena Williams you know Black men, especially, they ain't used to black women, you know, like Serena Williams opting out. They ain't used to that. <laughs> they pretty much thought that Serena Williams was going to be a mammy, pick me, mule, baby mama, ride or die chick for black men. And, you know, I'm not coming for Serena, uh, but I feel like they feel that way probably based on the way that Serena Williams looks. Again, I'm not coming for Serena Williams. I'm just saying they kind of have like, when it comes to this situation, it's kind of like, it's almost the feeling of entitlement and also kind of like, oh, you should be happy that anyone wants to be with you anyway. Kind of like, you know, we're doing you a favor, right? But also the reason why Serena Williams is an issue and women like her is because you know she Serena Williams upset the status quo and the colorism hierarchy when she did that right it was like oh it's like and also she could be like an example for other women which is a bad thing like oh like look at what happened to Serena Williams like she was able to do it maybe I could do it you know <clears throat> Because she is like an example in the media that, you know, black women who are perhaps thinking about, um, you know, dating interracially may look to. And, you know, that's that doesn't help maintain the uh, hierarchy. You know, that doesn't help maintain the agenda. Right. 
So, you know, you have to go for her and shame her and turn her into an example, right? Um, also, another person, a Viola Davis, right? And she's, Viola Davis is married to a black man. Um, but she had spoke out about how she wanted to see more black women, <clears throat> particularly, I uh, believe, like dark-skinned black women, especially. Um, I don't know if she specified skin tone, but she did say at least black women, like in more roles that are like interracial love roles, right? Kind of like black women with different types of men, right? And as well, she gave uh, Liam Neeson a compliment. And, you know, that didn't go over so well, <laughs> you know. Um, and I'm not, again, I guess it just traces back to the agenda and Viola Davis not being on par with the agenda and challenging and upsetting the agenda. So, of course, black Black men primarily, but some black women too, as of course, uh, came for Viola Davis for that, right? Even though Viola Davis is with, you know, she's married to a black man, right? So really, honestly, she would probably low-key fall into the agenda anyway, but she kind of went off code, if you will, from the agenda. So they kind of had to check her, like, look, chick. You can't be going off code like this, so we got to make an example out of your ass, all right? <clears throat> all right. Um, next on the list, Issa Rae. All right, Issa Rae. Y'all know Issa Rae, folks came for her because she, in her book, um, Awkward Black Girl, she said something that was, I believe, even like joke, like a joke or satirical, but she had said like, oh, black women and Asian men should date. You know, and folks got upset about that. Again, she is undermining, undermining the agenda, right? And you can't be, they can't have her out here undermining that agenda because it it doesn't. It, again, we the agenda helps maintain kind of like the hierarchy and the order within the community, right? So they can't have that. Another person that this happened to, uh, Chili from TLC, this happened to her too, when she suggested that, you know, black women explore all their options, right? Be open to all their options when it comes to dating. And a lot of black women actually got at Chili for that, which I find really strange because Chile didn't really come for black women in that comment. It would make more sense that black men would come for Chile, but not black women. But they were, you know, black women were coming for Chile for that comment. And that honestly is a video within itself about black women and their attitudes toward other black women who date interracially. That is a, that really is like a conversation within it, within itself. You know, um, I saw a video from a woman who is very popular on YouTube and who very much is an advocate for interracial dating for black women. And, you know, is a very polarizing figure on black YouTube. And she had mentioned something about sometimes I think black women may bond low key over like struggle love. And sometimes when they feel like black women are opting out of struggle love, it's kind of like they're opting out of the sisterhood of struggle love, right? The sisterhood of building a brother up, right? And I think sometimes some black women resent other black women who opt out of the agenda, right? A theory. Um... Uh, next on the list, uh, Sierra, right? She was supposed to be the example baby mama, right? But Sierra was like, nah, you know, I ain't gonna be on the baby mama host role now. Nah, -uh, I ain't down with that shit, right? Because, <clears throat> you know, they wanted Sierra to be on the baby mama host role looking tragical and shit, you know? Because they want 
baby mamas are promoted in the black community. That's why the um, like the marriage rate is so low in the out of uh, birth uh, wedlock. Having children at a wedlock rate is so high. That is part of the agenda, too, because they want the black women to be baby mamas. Right. Not wise. Baby mamas. All right. And I know some of y'all are like, well, why? Why? What, what's that about? All right. Well, they want the women, you know, to be on the baby mama whole stroll, looking tragical and shit, so that they can throw it in your face and shame you when, you know, shame you into being quiet when you complain about the fuck shit in the community, the fuck shit when it comes to black men. You know, notice that, like, you know, when you want to file a complaint about black men, uh, particularly like when black women file complaints about black men. Notice that all of a sudden, the whole like their whole personal life um, is scrutinized. Notice that, <laughs> like, oh, you know, she's a baby mama. Oh, she can't get a man. Oh, she can't keep a man. Oh, you know, she's a swirler. She's a bed wench. Like all like so many facets and of her personal life become. Points for criticism. Like so many factors or facets are under put under scrutiny. You know? It's like you're applying for like some sort of a loan or some sort of clearance or something, and they're just going through your whole life trying to make sure you're on the up and up, even though they really don't want you to be on the up and up, right? They're just looking for any reason to deny your application, right? Um, but, you know, one, you know, we've been talking about the women for a while, but also when you think about it, what about the cr criticisms for men like, say, Trick Fatty, Little Brain, Tic Tac Whack, right? Those dudes usually don't get criticized for engaging in the type of behavior that kind of like cuts down black women. Right, or promotes swirling for black men. Right, notice that. You know that that doesn't really come in. Like the same people who would complain about a Viola Davis would not be so quick to complain about um, Trick Fatty. All right, you know, and as quiet as it's kept, you know, many of these, you know, quote unquote educated lames, you know. Like some of them, a lot of them, secretly want to be, you know, the thugs, you know, be like the thugs, the gangsters, the hood niggas, the pookies, the ray rays, the slave bucks, right? Because notice that slave buck mentality that some black men have, notice that that's not really ever addressed when we talk about this whole a baby mama situation and the out of uh, wedlock, wedlock birth rate. Right. Notice that that's never really an issue or brought up within that conversation. Notice that it's usually centered around black women and them making bad choices, which is a factor. I'm not going to front here. That is a factor because I do think so, some black women, uh, just some women in general, but I'll keep, keep it on black women. But some black women, I don't know, they just sometimes are out to lunch when it comes to who they're going to have a kid with. Even we see this playing out right now on YouTube. I ain't going to name names, but you know who I mean. Like, I kind of felt like low-key, that female, that black female could have did better. I honestly think that. And I think a lot of people kind of didn't expect her to end up in that situation. And... You know, it goes to show that just because you know better doesn't necessarily mean you do better, right? Just because you're smart doesn't nece necessarily mean you're wise, right? Doesn't necessarily mean you have common sense, all right? Um, but I'm going to bring this video to a close. I don't want to go on for too long, but thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Until the next video, adios and goodbye for now.